Hey everyone, in this video we are going to recall, uh, we are going to talk about slope intercept form. The graph is going to be given. We are going to write its equation. It's just like the opposite of what we did in the previous video about S7, I believe. So uh, this is our Excel S8. We are dealing with slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. In this form, uh, m is the slope or rise over run b is the y-intercept again if someone asks you what the slope intercept form is it's any linear equation where you have the y all by itself so let's check this out the first thing I need two numbers I need the y-intercept it's easier to locate because it's just a point let's find that point the y-intercept is you look at the point of intersection of your line and the y-axis the y-axis is the vertical one it has its name over here the line goes through the axis at negative 4 so B in here then equals to negative 4 and then that's our starting point remember and then we apply the slope to find another point on the line it could be any point such as let me see such as this right here what do I need to do to end up at this point starting from the one in the bottom I need to go up one two three four five six and then left one this right here is my rise this is my run now let's just create our slope then the M is going to be its rise over run right rise goes at the top in the, my, as my numerator it's 6 since I'm going up it is positive for the run I'm going towards left one unit if we are talking about left and down we are talking about negative numbers so it's negative 1 what's let me see uh, it says write your answer using integers proper fractions and improper fractions in simplest form that's the keyword if you keep it that way it's going to be wrong because that's not the simplest form you can divide 6 by negative 1 and the answer is just negative 6 if you can simplify it simplify it as much as you can then create your equation and remember our general form was y equals mx plus b right y is the variable m we just figured out that it was negative 6 and then x plus b b is negative 4 but that doesn't look right like plus minus 4 we don't like that that doesn't look right so let's just simplify it a little further negative 6x minus 4 that would be our final answer for this question and just so you know if you have a line that goes down from left to right that's the key it should be from left to right you gotta look from the left point and then follow along the line if you're going down your slope should be negative that should be a sign for you you can check your work like that if the line is rising from left to right this is a positive slope M is positive okay let's move on to the next level uh, I'll pause the video for a second because I think I have an important call okay I'm back uh, let's check this question out it says look at the graph what is the equation of the line in slope intercept form that means get the y by itself okay find your y-intercept that's your starting point B is what I want first and it equals to 1 and then the slope find another point on the line and see how many units you're going up right left or down so the another the other point on the line is right here and to get to that point from here all I do is going down one one two three four five left down one left five 
write them down. When you do these questions on your own, it's always better if you just write it down. And slope means rise over run, correct? That's a rhetorical question, guys, by the way. I don't, I, I'm not crazy. I know you're not here. So down one means negative number. For the rise, we are going down. Run, left, five. Left means negative number as well. So what is negative one over negative five? When you divide two negatives, when you multiply two negatives, the final answer turns into positive. So instead of negative one over negative five, the simplest form is one over five. And when you divide them, it gives you a decimal which you don't want to have. So these are the numbers that, that we need. Remember the general form of the slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. Rewrite your equation. y equals m is one fifth times x plus b is one. So this would be our answer for that question. That's all. So I really don't want to do too many questions because I know it gets boring when the teacher does the same thing over and over again. Let me know if you need more help. If you need other examples, I can solve more upon request. So thanks for watching and I will see you in another video, guys.